In this video, I'm doing a Speechella review and I want to cover, is Speechella worth it? So if you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it helps get this video to more people. So I'm going over my honest opinion about Speechello and without any further ado, make sure it's right until the end so you know every single bit about Speechello and let's go and get into this. Just before we get into the review, feel free to go and buy Speechello using the link in the description. It is an affiliate link which helps support the channel. We'll take you to the Speechella website and then here we are, we can go and scroll down, it's going to go and give you a ton of information and then all you want to do is go and click buy now and once you've purchased it's going to go and send you your login details to your email and then let's go and get into this video. So Speechella is a text-to-speech software that creates awesome human voiceovers from scripts. You can copy and paste your script and choose from the voices inside Speechella to generate the voiceover, then you can go and preview it and then you can go and download it and use it in videos or you can just keep it as an mp3 as well. What makes is really awesome is that there are human effects you can add to make it sound really realistic and just like a human actually did it. But of course with Speechella you don't have to keep paying someone to do it again, you pay for the software and then you can keep using this again and create awesome voiceovers. And there are multiple different languages and accents you can use as well, so it fits many different needs. And I'm covering all the different accents and languages later in this video. So who is Speechello actually perfect for? So in my opinion Speechello is perfect for people who feel uncomfortable recording your own voiceovers or if you don't speak English good enough to record a voiceover to be clear enough and that people could easily understand. Also, maybe they just don't have a good microphone or the required equipment to produce high quality voiceovers as it can get very expensive. So now I want to go and jump into Speechello, show you more about the user interface and all of the different voices and accents we can go and use. So this is what you're greeted with when you first go and launch Speechello. As you can see, it goes and gives you a full training video. I've also done one myself about how to use Speechello, so feel free to go and check that out as well. I'm going to close off this, and then here is Speechello itself. So I'll run through everything what it has. So at the top here, it's going to go and show you what you currently own. So I just own the standard version of Speechello, but you can also upgrade to the pro version and the worldwide. So the worldwide gives you access to sort of translate features and importing features, and the pro is going to give you access to more voices. And then once you come down to here, here is where you can go and type in what you like. You can add speeches and pauses. And then if you have the World War edition, you can add translations and import YouTube captions. Just a quick note down here, it does say a limit of 5,000 characters, but of course you can just break your scripts into sort of different sections. So if you've got a script of 15,000 characters, you could just go and do um, a third of it at a time. So 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, and that's a way to go and get over it. Then on here, then in the top right, it gives you a few statistics, and then we've got the settings. So the first thing I want to go and show you is under language. So if we click here, there are so many languages, most are covered as well. I and mean, personally, I'm using sort of the English ones, but you've got English Indian, English Ireland, English Canada, English British, there are so many as well. Now, if you do notice, some of them do have less available for the voices. I think the English US probably has the most. And then for the engine, we've got standard and AI voice. Now, standard sounds a lot more like a human compared to the AI voice. But with the AI voice, you can set tones. So you've got AI tone, you've got normal tone, friendly tone, and serious tone. Personally, I prefer the standard and it sounds a lot better. And I'll be showing you two demos in just a minute. Then over here, we've kind of got the voices. So I'm gonna go and preview these, got these to you in just a minute. So now I'm gonna go and play the demos of a few of the voices which are available in Speechello. And I'll just show you what they sound like. Hey, this is a review of Speechello. Hi, I'm Billy. I am a native English speaker. Hi. I'm Owen. I am a native English speaker. Hi. I'm Summer. I am a native English speaker. Hi. I'm Rosie. So now I want to cover the quick process of having your script and then going and get it into a voice file on your computer. So you can go and preview it. I'll put it on the screen right now. So you can go and preview it like this. Hey, this is a review of Speechlo. But to stop the download process, all you need to do is click on generate voiceover and then you need to go and scroll down and there's going to be a download button, there's a list of all your different voiceovers. You download it, you'll then get the option to add background music and you do need the pro or worldwide version to do this. But you can click no, just download and it's going to download it and then I'll go and play it now. Hey, this is a review of Speechlo. And to answer the question of is Speechella worth it, in my opinion, if you either feel uncomfortable recording your own voiceovers, if you don't speak English good enough to record a voiceover, or maybe don't have a good microphone or the required equipment to record high quality voiceovers, then probably yes. Um, but you can also go and test it out and see if you like it. But yeah, that is today's video. If you found it useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.